Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Art with Vicky C. And that's V-I-K-K-I. -I. I noticed in my last video, one of the K's got left out in my name. Um, I have an older computer and I don't know, sometimes the keys are starting to stick now. So, who knows. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. This is Art with Vicky C. Today I'm going to be showing you two completed uh, art journals, just the last few pages, not the whole thing. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how I'm doing a daily sketchbook thing. And I'll be showing two other books that I'll be starting with pretty soon. And let's go. So this journal was started March the 8th, 2023, and I finished it on January the 5th, 2024. Um, I did find myself not as creative as I thought I was going to be in 2023. Excuse me, I'm having some problems with my chair. Let me move it out of the way. So this was all watercolor. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, and this is just a regular sketchbook that you can pick up. It's got like copier paper type quality to it, maybe a little better. But something I've started doing since the 4th is I'm doing these just little brain dump doodle things. And I figure it'll help me <laughs> maybe improve. But, um, these are just the 4th through the 6th that I'm showing. Um, this was just me doing a lot of practice work with the things here. Up on my desk. That's them, and then that's, uh, what I was listening to that day. I love to have music while I create. So that's an idea that you can do to help you maybe daily have a little something to do. You can take as short as long as you want to. And that's in this book that I picked up at. Uh, used to be Burks and now it's Beals. A second journal that I finished was this little one. Got it at Walmart. It's just a little pen and gear journal. I started it on September the 29th of 2023. And I finished it January the 8th, 2024. And these are the last few bits of pages. used washi tape, stickers, some pieces that I had cut out from other pages. I'm doing. These are just little quick books. You can just throw stuff together in them. You can make it fancy or you can do it simple however you want to do it. Um, they do save you a lot of space. You can use up 
small pieces of paper. That was from a, uh, some stickers I had done. It was a background paper that they had with it. And there's that one. I've got whoop, a new one of these Oxford Junior Composition ones getting ready to start. This will be book number three. And I'm also going to be working on finishing my first ever glue book up. Another journal that I have that's a little bit bigger and working in this one that I bought a while back, it's just like a sketchbook. Oops, sorry, everything's sliding. But um, I've already done a ink test on it. And the only thing that really will probably uh, bleed through is, uh, looks like we're the Tombow marker. Minimal ghosting at best. And let's see, it does accept these, so this will be interesting to see how it does. I picked um, this up at Walmart, and it's small enough where I can take it with me and maybe start some drawings and sketches. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I'm uh, off somewhere and then come back home and uh, color them in and finish them up. So that's everything that I've got and um, today is January the 8th um, 2024 and today we remember David Boy He was supreme Y'all have a blessed day. Bye. Bye